everyone it's Heather with ideas to come and um, I had mentioned in my last two videos that I was working on something and I didn't quite finish it but um, I took this to work and I wanted to share this with you guys <laughs> I took this to work and my good friend Vicki um, saw it and she fell in love with it so she wants it so um, I'm gonna do another one but before I give this to her, I wanted to, uh, to show you what it was. Um, this is the actual box that I started with. It's an index card box. It comes with uh, paper inside and it comes with um, the uh, dividers and you put index cards in it. I have one somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. But you put index cards in it. I guess I got this in the school supply section. And let me see. Let me see if I can go out a little bit. There we go. I bought it in the school supply section. It's just uh, for, um, let me get some cards. Uh, some index cards. Like I have these oops, colored ones. And they just to write notes for the students I guess and so I got some of those and I started altering them and this is the first one I started with um, this is four seasons this paper is four seasons and I put that all the way around I just uh, measured it cut it and then um, God, I can't even think <laughs> um, scored scored it here and uh, wrapped it around and glued it and then I did the sides uh, with the same paper this part of the paper um, <clears throat> and then I put one of my flowers that I paint this is a prima flower um, and I just painted it of course it's sparkly and then I just put a gem in the middle this is one of the charms that I just recently um, received I had ordered it from bead findings and um, some more gems on the end right here because there's these two little these two little buttons there and I covered it with the paper but it didn't look too good so I put some gems there and then I just added this is actually an earring back um, that I attached the gem to and I attached this other gem to and then I just stuck it through there and glued it put some glue and stuck it in there so it's it's poking through right there I might need to put something right there but I carried the paper on over to the inside and then I just cut this out to go in the middle where uh, the index card part here is so, and what I was wanting to do was I was wanting to make a mini album to go inside. And that's what this paper was for, was a mini album. And I was going to make a mini album and put a mini album in there, but somebody wants to use it for coupons, so I'm not going to make a mini album for this one. But I will be making some more and, and putting a mini album inside. I just thought it's perfect for a mini album. Um, uh, and altering and so uh, I mean they have these in different colors um, I, that one's black they have blue and purple and so I bought just a few they were maybe a dollar twelve I think so they're very inexpensive and I already started on another one and see I already started on I like that paper I don't know what it is about that paper but I might change that one but here's the finished product and Vicki fell in love with it and I recently on one of my videos I showed you an altered box that I did for her birthday and um, so I'm gonna also give her this one so she wanted that she saw that today and so I didn't add I was gonna add some more lace to the edge or some I have this that I, I thought about adding on there but I'm not going to she likes it just the way it is so wanted to share that with you um, and if you have any questions, just um, comment and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Um, le uh, please let me know what you think. Give me suggestions if you um, can. And I guess that's it. So I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.